Hi, this is Nick Forster. Every week on the air, we recognize someone our listeners have told us about, folks who are stepping up in their own communities or beyond and making a positive impact. We do this not only to share these inspiring stories with listeners like you, but to remind us that so often, even in the face of big problems, little steps can lead to great results. It's the Achievement Award, and here's Helen to tell you about this week's winner. Several years ago, Susan Chidley suffered a small stroke and had to temporarily take leave from her work as a psychotherapist. During her recovery time, she went on a medical mission trip to an isolated village in Nicaragua. The widespread poverty she saw there greatly disturbed Susan, especially the lack of access to basic resources and items that we take for granted in the U.S. She discovered that one item in particular could greatly improve the health and welfare of the children there. What's the simple thing that you saw that you could really do that would make a difference for these kids down there? Shoes. Shoes was what was missing? (laughs) Well, I asked the people what they needed, and I thought they would say beans and rice and food and things like that, and they said, we need shoes. Wow. In Nicaragua, children are required to wear shoes to go to school. Not having shoes means a child loses the opportunity to get an education. In addition, since there's no readily accessible medical care, children without proper footwear are much more susceptible to injuries to their feet, which can lead to major and, in some cases, life-threatening complications. Let's, let's talk about um, what it is about shoes that keeps those kids healthy. We, the first time I went, I went on a medical mission, and a lot of children showed up with worms and terrible cuts and infection in their feet. And without antibiotics, their feet do not get better. And that's a country where you can die if you get tonsillitis. Susan started the nonprofit Children Without Shoes International to provide kids in rural areas with the simple yet vital resource. We buy the shoes in Nicaragua so that the local economy can get money. And we hand carry every pair of shoes Hmm. to each child. With the help of her two sons, Connor and Matthew, Susan has provided shoes, and in some cases, school uniforms, for the children in five separate villages in Nicaragua for over a decade. It's amazing. This will be our 11th year. So we've watched the babies grow up. And so you've been able to help a bunch of people since then, I suspect. A lot of people, I think about 10,000 pairs of shoes Wow! and about probably 600 uniforms. Wow. It's just a matter of doing it. Yeah. Here at E-Town, we like your can-do attitude, Susan. Congratulations for the great work you're doing. If you'd like to find out more about the organization called Children Without Shoes International, or if you want to hear our entire conversation with Susan on the air, visit our website at etown.org.